Grading your students' assignments can be a challenging task, but calculating the weighted average and letter grade doesn't have to be. In this video, we'll walk through a simple example for how to calculate a curved weighted average and associated letter grade. We are going to walk through an example of how to complete a simple grading file. So this is a template that has homework, projects, tasks, participation, all leading to a straight grade, and then eventually a curved grade for our especially nice teachers. So homework, this will just simply be the percent of homework that a given student has completed. So what we can do is calculate a homework total. If I use a count ifs, I can very easily see how many homework assignments this individual student completed. I will set the criteria range to C for complete, and then I can fill that down. And so this will tell me the number of assignments they've completed. But if I want to calculate the percent of assignments they've completed, I can divide this by using a count A, which will count the number of cells in a range that are not empty. If I highlight this range, now what it's telling me is Olive Tree completed 100%, Clydesdale only completed 67%, even good old Analytical only completed 33%. Let's move on to our projects. So our projects are going to be a weighted average. Our first project is worth 25%. Our second project is worth 75%. So what I can do is take my first project grade multiplied by the first project weight, lock that in its rows so it doesn't move, and then add my second project grade multiplied by the second project weight locked in its rows and fill that down. And now what I have is a weighted average between my two projects. Student in row 12 has a 70% because the 100% on project one was worth a lot less than the 60% they got on project two. For our tests, these are a straight average, so all three tests are worth the same. So what I can use is the average formula. So average of our three tests will give us the straight line average. Another way you can do that is the sum divided by the count will give you the same answer, but I often find the average formula to be a lot simpler. Next, we have our participation grade. These are one to 10 scores, our weighted average score for each student. On our right, we have our category weights. What I can do is simply multiply each category score. So homework multiplied by the 10% of their grade that it's worth locked in row nine, plus the project score multiplied by the project weight, the test score multiplied by the test weight. And then finally, the participation grade divided by 10 to adjust for a percentage multiplied by the participation weight locked in row 12. If I fill that down, I can see the scores for each one of my students given the weighted average based on our category weights. If we want to determine these into letter grades, I can use a VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP on our lookup value, which is our grade percentage, our lookup table will be the table array of letter grades. I can lock that in place with F4 and then my column index number will be two as I want to return the grades in the far right column. If I fill that down, I can see that for my 80 to 90% they're Bs, my 70 to 80% are Cs, and then my 60 to 70% are Ds. Not a great score for this class. Let's say this is a great example of organic chemistry or some class for students typically don't do very well what we might want to do is institute a curve the easiest way to do a curve is to take the best student and scale their score up to 100 i want to take the student's score and i want to add one minus the max score or the highest score that any student achieved i can select this whole array use f4 to lock it in place and then close my parentheses. And now you can see the highest score in 89% was scaled to 100, a 78 was scaled to 89%, this 87% was scaled to a 98%. And if we wanna add a letter grade for these, we can actually just copy this column and paste it in. And now we have an A plus for the 100%, our valedictorian, a A for all of our 90 to 100 percent, and then even the student that got a D is up to a C. And with this template, you can very easily go in and change your inputs if 
analytical came and actually turned in her two homework assignments and you change this to a C, you change this to a C, she can actually get from a B to an A. So it might be worth doing your homework. Same with these participation scores. Maybe Saul Goodmate came in and made a really good case that he did a lot of participation. You change the score to a nine, he gets up to an A as well. Very easy to toggle your manual inputs and see the outputs for both your straight grade and your curve grade. Thank you.